hospitality sector. It lost more jobs than any other sector in New York City during the COVID-19 pandemic. But as the city reopens, people are anxious to get back and start traveling again. And Times Square has a brand new entrant into the space right here in the city, Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville Resort. And we want to bring in the CEO of Margaritaville Holdings, John Cullen. John, it's great to have you here on Yahoo Finance. I have some of these stats written down because they're impressive. 234 guest rooms. 4,800 square feet of retail space, five bars and restaurants. What can people expect when they walk through, through the doors of Margaritaville Resort? They can expect what you said in your intro, <laughs> a lot of fun. There we go. And and a wonderful pool to dive into. A You know, people have been coming to Times Square in New York, obviously, as a tourist destination for generations. Great sights to see, but really no place to vacation. So what we think we've provided is the opportunity to have a vacation when you come to New York City. And how, what has it been like navigating the last 16 months? Because this investment property was over $300 million it took to build. You did it in the midst of the pandemic. Did you have any second thoughts about having a location right here in Times Square? Well, we had second thoughts about a lot of things. <laughs> and uh, what we learned was never underestimate the human spirit's desire for escapism and fun. You know, even through the pandemic, the leisure business and hospitality performed much better than the typical business traveler business uh, because people just will figure out a way so long as it's safe. And that's what brands are about. You trust a, a brand to have a good time. So uh, I will say getting this built during the pandemic was quite a challenge. And New York City was terrific. They were incredibly supportive. And at your locations that you have, your numerous locations, what are the trends that you're seeing? Are you seeing a steady recovery at this point? We're seeing a very steady recovery. We have a lot of uh, drive-to leisure locations. Uh, our business actually in the last two months is up over 2019, which is surprising. And as an industry, generally, one of the things we're seeing is the appreciation of the food and beverage experience. At, a, at lodging properties, uh, which is one of the things that I think distinguishes us and what we do, and, and just people looking for a lifestyle experience, an all-in experience. Now, John, you've been working with Jimmy Buffett for over two decades, I that believe, is true. right? That is true. Oh, I, and you were almost the brains behind Margaritaville and this brand that he has been so successful in over the last uh, several years. What? I guess, what drew you to this and what did you know that Margaritaville would be so different than anything else that was out right. there? Well, I wouldn't say I was the brains behind it because Jimmy wrote the song. True. Uh, but I was... One of the business brains behind it. There I you go. I would, I, I, I would say. say that. Uh, as he liked to say, as he likes to say, 24 years ago, he said, I can't pay you, but you can wear flip-flops and shorts. And it's true. It's been a lot of fun. It's simply that, um, you know, people are looking for an experience, an authentic experience. And the great advantage we have is that there's real authenticity behind it. People have grown up with, with this music representing for them, essentially, their version of paradise. So what I've learned if, is if you deliver that experience, right, uh, people will continue to, to, to enjoy it and allow you to grow with them. Curious to get your thoughts on this. We had the CEO of Airbnb on Yahoo Finance not too long ago, and he was talking about the outperformance that they have seen, why he thinks, of course, and it makes sense that he would say this, they have a competitive edge over the hotel industry. What would you say to that just in terms of what consumers are looking for right now sure. as they get back to traveling? Sure. Well, what I would say as it relates to our business, mm -hmm. we're really a lodging platform business, a leisure lodging platform business. So we're in the business of vacation home ownership or vacation home rental. We're in the business of all-inclusive resorts in the Caribbean. We're in the business of active living, living the back nine of your life at 55 and above. So fundamentally, I wouldn't disagree that, that consumers now have a much broader perspective on how they'd like to lodge. What we do is we provide the ability to lodge in our lifestyle in any format that you're looking for. So I'd say there's some truth to the fact that consumers now just have a lot more choices. They certainly do. John, when you, let's talk about what's next. Not to get too ahead of ourselves because we're still celebrating the opening of Margaritaville Resorts right here in Times Square. But what can we expect from Margaritaville going forward? Uh, well, we're continue to, continuing to bring this lifestyle of ours to people both domestically and internationally. Uh, we've got about seven or eight properties opening over the next year and a half, including a very large property in Nassau, all-inclusive properties all throughout the Caribbean. 
Um, so what we keep finding is that consumers are looking for more of the experience that we have to offer, including you, I hope, after this today, I I walk so down too. the street and have a margarita <laughs> at the License to Chill bar. That sounds, that sounds very, very appetizing right now, especially after being in this heat all day. John Indeed. Colin, great to speak with you. Thanks so much for taking the time. CEO of Margaritaville. Adam, I'll send it back to you. You got to bring some of those free margaritas back to studio so we can all celebrate, Sean. Uh, I will. Um, 